when QVQ Max is here, the AI that can watch, analyze, and think for you. So I'm gonna show you what makes this model different than other models like DeepSeek or even Google and ChatGPT, and how it solves problems through visual input step-by-step step to give you better answers. So we're gonna start with this uh, post that they had excited to share QVQ Max, our visual reasoning model that is still evolving. We've been experimenting with this approach for a while. Try it out on Quenchat. And you actually have access to the model right now inside of Quen for free right here, QVQ Max. We're gonna check it out in a little bit. Just upload any image or video, ask away, hit the thinking button to see how it processes visual information step-by-step. Step. It's a work in progress, but fascinating to watch. Your early feedback will be super helpful as we continue developing and here is to the blog. Now I'm gonna read through a little bit what they found about this model in comparison with other models. So let's take a look here. You can also get access to this in different uh, versions. Of course, it's open source, like their um, you know, brothers or whatever you wanna call DeepSeek. And um, the main fascinating thing here is it's a visual reasoning model. This model can not only understand the content in images and videos, but also analyze and reason with this information to provide solutions. From math problems to everyday questions, from programming code to artistic creation, QVQ Max has demonstrated impressive capabilities, though this is just our first version, its potential is already eye-catching. Now, there are some other competitors that have been able to do this. For example, the visual models from Google. They have been able to uh, extract text very well. You can also input videos into uh, the Google AI Studio and it will actually tell you uh, you know, if it's an elephant or something like that, it will tell you the elephant is going to the pool and drinking water, things like that. And this seems to be a same model like that. Here you can see a graph of max thinking length in a context here on the right side and up you have a math vision accuracy. So you can see that it's landing at 43% when it has little thinking and it's going higher and higher when it has more thinking. This is what we've found. If you use more compute, the AI model is going to do better in some cases or it's going to hallucinate even more, but that's a uh, question for another time. On this benchmark that aggregates various challenging multimodal mathematical problems, we evaluate a model's ability to solve complex math problems based on its performance on this benchmark. As shown in the figure, by adjusting the maximum length of the model's thinking process, we observe a continuous improvement in the model's accuracy on um, math vision, demonstrating the immense potential of the model. But the next question really is, why do we need visual reasoning? Can't we just use the world models and the text models? Well, traditional AI models mostly re rely on text inputs, such as answering questions, writing articles, or generating code. However, in real life, much of the information isn't expressed through words, but rather through images, charts, or even videos. A single image can contain rich details like colors, shapes, spatial relationships, and more. These elements are often more intuitive, but also more complex than text. For example, if you want to determine whether an architectural blueprint is reasonable, a description alone might not be enough. But if you could see the blueprint and analyze it using professional knowledge, the task becomes much easier. This is the significance of visual reasoning. It allows AI not only to see, but also understand and think. Our goal in designing QVQ Max was simple, to create an assistant that is both sharp-eyed and quick-thinking, capable of solving various practical problems for users. So here is something that they've seen from observation to reasoning. The first thing being detailed observation, capturing every detail. QVQ Max excels as parsing images, whether they're complex charts or casual snapshots taken in daily life. 
It can quickly identify key elements in an image. For instance, it can tell you what objects are in a photo, what textual labels exist, and even point out small details that you might overlook. This is something that is really cool with visual uh, AI. Before, it could see different text and stuff like that, but not necessarily get grasp every word that was on the image. But now, it's gotten a lot better in all of the technology space, basically, vision is getting really, really good. You might have seen videos with bounding boxes around videos as well. And even if you have a tree that goes in front of an object, they can track that object even behind the tree, which they weren't able to do with previous models. And this has been a huge bump for the last six or so months. Number two, also deep reasoning, not just seeing, but also thinking. Well, <laughs> reasoning models is probably the, the hype of um, last year, like the end of last year, and this year reasoning models have been the big push. Obviously, next step being AI agents, but we haven't really seen the best AI agents yet, but I have a feeling it's just around the corner. Now, identifying context uh, content in an image is not enough. QMVQ Max can further analyze this information and combine it with background knowledge to draw conclusions. For example, in a geometry problem, it can derive answers based on the accompanying diagram. In a video clip, it can predict what might happen next based on the current scene. Number three, flexible application from problem solving to creation. Beyond analysis and reasoning, QVQ Max can also perform interesting tasks like helping you design illustrations, generate short video scripts, or even create role-playing content based on your requirements. If you upload a rough sketch, it might help you refine it into a complete piece, upload a regular photo, and it can transform it into a sharp critic or even a fortune teller. So. The immediate use case that I'm thinking about is this model that I have of continuously improving AI videos. One of the big key pieces here is that, yes, we can take the, so the full loop is basically you have an idea that you want to create, then you take it into an action model that creates that AI video for you, and then you get the feedback or results from that video and then you feed back those results back in again to a new idea. This is possible almost right now through uh, text and data and having databases. For example, you take your top 20 YouTube titles and you say, okay, this is the feedback. We found out these were the most popular videos. Can we get a new idea based on this? But with visual reasoning, we could also identify key pieces of information in the content itself. Like for example, when you ask for a subscribe and what type of call to action that was popping up. By the way, subscribe to the channel, you already know. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. It would really help out. So I'm seeing this to be a really great help for analyzing videos that you already have before and analyzing new videos and almost having a success analysis type video based on your most best performing videos and being able to create new videos. Do you get what I mean? At least this is something that I'm trying to um, move forward to as um, content is getting easier and easier to create and with higher and higher quality. So this seems like a insane use case for that specifically for content creators. Now let's take a look at some demo cases. So I'll show you the videos right now. Uh, but before that, workspace tool at QVQ Max can assist in data analysis, organizing information, and even writing code. Learning assistant for students, QVQ Max can solve difficult problems in a subject like math and physics, especially those accompanied by diagrams. It can also explain complex math concepts in an intuitive way, making it easier to learn. Life Helper, in daily life, QVQ Max can offer practical advice. For instance, it can recommend an outfit combination based on photos of your wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> or guide you through cooking a new dish based on recipe images. If you're like one of those health and influence uh, or health on fashion influencers, yeah, maybe um, grab it, take a photo of your wardrobe, get it to do 
like a title of um, ChatGPT told me what to wear or QBQ Max uh, told me what to wear, I think would do really good. And I would love to watch that. Uh, drop it in the comments if it's already been done. But let's take a look at some of the examples. They have a couple of examples here that I think are really interesting to watch. So let's take a look at the first one. So this is for travel. Again, we're going to upload an image here and uh, actually two images, view one and view two. Then it uploads. And here we have what are some, um, what are the scenic views depicted in these two pictures and what is the relationship between them? So it seems like a Japanese photo here. Um, and again, with the QVQ, you actually have full reasoning transparency, meaning that you'll see every token that is actually reasoning before you get the answer. It's a big benefit compared to ChatGPT that only gives you kind of paragraphs of what it's actually trying to do. It uh, gave a great uh, answer here with this being a... Um, Aerial shot of West Lake in spring or summer. And the second image, a winter scene at West Lake featuring at the broken bridge. So those were pretty easy to recognize from this model. Let's take a look at mathematical reasoning here. So we are going... <laughs> awesome music right there. Very kid friendly. Let's take a look at this. Can you find the missing term? Seems like a, a math solution question, a pattern recognition type of uh, task to solve. Again, we see all of that thinking. And with the thinking, thinking and reasoning model as well, you could get more reliable answers on some things. And also with reasoning, you could also get more hallucinations than um, other models as well. So there needs to be some testing there. But in this case, I highly uh, think that uh, this is math and its image generation. I think this is a really good idea and uh, a great use case for this. Here they're actually interpreting palm readings. So uh, yeah, I mean, I am, I'm also a expert palm reader. I do it every single day when I wake up. I'm like, and if I see somebody new, man, I'm reading their palms quick. So now I don't have to do that anymore. I can just rely on Quen. And um, you can see like the lifeline is pretty... Uh, pretty long heart line. Your heart line is relatively straight and ends under the middle finger. Okay. Headline. Your headline is distinct and separated from the lifeline, which could indicate a strong sense. Oh, what did it say there? Strong sense of independence and intellectual curiosity. Ooh, there's a bunch of um, stuff here. And um, that's very interesting to see. It's taking basically old frameworks of uh, palm reading and uh, bringing it into the AI. Now, what about video understanding? Let's take a look at this. So here is a video where he's drawing a snail, obviously. And for us, this is easy to uh, recognize and uh, to explain. But for the AI, it has been in the past quite a hard task. And here the prompt is analyze the video, combine the visual content with the text and create vivid and interesting captions for the shots in the video. Cool. So that's another really cool and interesting way that it can actually help it improve the video. And um, that goes back to the overall loop that I was talking to you earlier, that we can get some analysis of the video you already created have some sort of prediction machine that predicts, oh, no, you should definitely put like at minute two, you should probably hit a, a new open loop, stay to the end uh, to draw more curiosity in and stuff like that. So it gives us a breakdown of exactly what is happening as well as captions that we can put on top of the video. Again, <laughs> such an amazing uh, use case. I can even see this getting used right now. Like say you have, for example, travel video, you just put all the travel videos back to back to back to back and you make it without sound. And then you pop that in only visuals into QVQ Max and then you can tell some captions to put on top. That's actually a really interesting idea that I would love to try. I have a bunch of Japanese travel photos and Japanese um, videos that I could easily put into this to give me some sort of captions on top of it, that would be really cool to try. Lastly, we have a learn to code by watching videos. And now um, this week, Google has been going out maximum force with the uh, coding. So the um, Gemini 2.5 came out this week and everybody is raving about how good it is at coding. So um, it might not be the best recommendation that I can have for coding. 
I do have to have more testing on it in order for me to actually uh, recommend it over Gemini 2.5. Uh, but I think a multiplayer snake game, it's like the next level prompting uh, here, uh, but the internet is too slow. But yeah, it was able to do a quick snake game based on a video that it was uploading. So you can see that we can get a lot more information from a video than from an image, leading us to get a lot better responses. Now, let me show you what Reddit is saying, QEQ Max on Quenchat. And they are talking about in the comments here that um, they did say one of their employees on Twitter that if everything goes well, there will be something even better on Thursday. So, and I believe what they're talking about is this one here, MCP. I'm really not sure what that is about, but it's going to be incredible to see if they're going to come up with something new on Thursday. The Quen team has been pushing out a lot more and more every single week. Obviously, Alibaba being behind it in China, saying that, hey, we're not going to let America be the AI dominance. We're also going to come out with models and they're doing an open source version of that for us all to enjoy. Again, you can find that on GitHub, Co uh, Hugging Face, Model Scope, Discord. They're all right here already. 9.3 thousand stars and it comes in many different versions as well if you want to run this locally you can inside of lm studio if you just search for quen we have a bunch of different examples here that you can use completely offline at pretty reasonable sizes as well so go check it out chat.quen.ai if you want to test it out for yourself hopefully this little update was helpful to you and you now can see couple of new use cases that you can use. If you're looking to use AI in your work, feel free to join our AI Mate community in the link in the description where you can copy my AI automations, get my list of my favorite AI tools ranked from five stars to one star and get access to me every single Monday and get early access to Content Mate where you can put any social media in here, like an X profile, click on scrape so you can see which people in your niche are getting the most viral views so you get unlimited content ideas. Check it out in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.